Cage has tutorials here, and um, now we're gonna install um, OS 10 Snow Leopard on the HP Pavilion DB6 3160 with the Core i5 460M processor and install HD graphics. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is copy the last files to a pen drive like uh, OS 10 10.6.8 combo update and um, this is necessary because we won't have internet access as we have installed OS 10 and uh, it's a good idea to have everything installed and up to date before we connect it to the internet. So 10.6.8 uh, has to be ready for install uh, before we connect it to the internet. So um, I will just copy these files and then we'll make a reboot and uh, install OS 10 with iBoot which we have burned to a CD or a DVD and um, then we will install OS 10 and um, then we are pretty much ready so I'll just copy these files and um, make a restart of Windows so we can boot into OS 10 so before we reboot we'll just put in the iBoot installation DVD or CD Make sure to connect your power cable, as um, when we run the update and so on, it will take a lot of power off your system. So, remove the unnecessary pen drive with the tools, we won't need it right now, and insert the pen drive with your installation files. And uh, start. If you haven't uh, booted your computer already, um, I will show you in a few moments where to where you can stop the boot process and um, insert the CD and the pen drive. It's a good idea to insert the pen drive before booting so it is recognized at startup. So I will let the system reboot and uh, be aware that I will install my system in Danish language. So um, I will of course ex uh, explain how to do it on English systems uh, as I'm speaking English in the tutorial. So um, you can follow me. Uh, just by watching the tutorial and listening to what I'm saying. So, uh, when it boots, prepare to hit the escape button and it will say pause startup. And um, at this point, just let it work. It will read the CD. If you haven't inserted the CD, insert it now. Let it work a little bit and then press the F9 button. And here we have the boot devices. You select internal CD DVD RAM drive. Hit enter and let it boot. We will now load iBoot. So here we have the iBoot boot screen and um, I'll just plug in my USB mouse so I can use the, the mouse when we're installing OS 10. Select Mac OS install DVD and uh, we're gonna now hit, uh, remember it's uh, American keyboard layout so we're gonna hit uh, this command and then we write CPUs equal 1. The CPU equal 1 is necessary for OS 10 to boot or else we will get a kernel panic. So um, hit enter and let the system boot. This takes a few minutes when running pen drive and about 10 or 15 minutes when running the um, uh, DVD. So according to what installation method you selected, you can just uh, wait 15 minutes or wait 5 minutes. That's up to you how long you want to wait. So, <clears throat> and it's uh, freaking out about some texts and recognizing our Windows drives. And here we have it, Mac OS 10 trackpad working. And now we're gonna use the mouse. Um, select your language and hit next. And uh, something that's very important now is that we go up and format the drive. Uh, before um, installing OS 10, you should have made a partition for um, OS 10 in Windows. Uh, just right click on computer and click manage and then go to disk management uh, in the menu to the, to the left. And um, then find your disk zero and it will have the C drive and system reserved. Make sure to have made recovery medias for uh, uh, Windows uh, with the HP tools 
and uh, delete the partition for recovery or else you won't be able to uh, make a fourth partition for uh, Mac OS. So after we created it, just call it back into HD what you want, go uh, into disk utility in OS 10 install program, hit erase, make sure Mac OS 10 extended journal is selected on the format and on the name, you can call it Mac OS HD or OS 10 or what you want. So now we're going to hit erase, and erase, and then delete the drive or the partition. <clears throat> if you just have uh, OS 10 as your only operating system, which I will not recommend at this time. Um, you can just select the first or second partition, or just select the whole drive here, and go to partition and one partition and GUID and um, call it language as HD or what you want. But anyway, I will be using the partition and dual booting with Windows. So quit this utility, click continue, and here's one nice thing. Two fingers scrolling on a Hagintosh. We haven't, we didn't only didn't have system installed. So anyway, hit agree to the license, and um, now we're gonna select Magentas HD. If you haven't applied the MBR patch, if you run just like me, um, you will not be able to select this. So now we're gonna hit customize and remove all the features we don't want. We don't want the printer archives. And uh, we don't want uh, the extra fonts and uh, language translations. We also don't want only what the ones we have selected. We want the X11 tools. You can install Rosetta if you want for running PPC programs and QuickTime 7. I will just select the basic system, the Danish language, and the X11 package. So hit OK and install. And uh, now just let the OS 10 install. If um, Install screen freezes up, no animation in the menu bar. You can just uh, try uh, to move around with the mouse and the screen will become back on. That's because sleep mode isn't working and it tries to go into sleep mode or um, put the monitor into sleep. So that's the reason why it's doing this shit. So anyway, let uh, the installation process run through. And um, this takes about 20 minutes or so. As it says, 20 minutes. So I will come back to you uh, when installation is finished.